Hi everyone, Pam from Everyday Snapshots at edsnapshots.com and today I wanted to show you how I use the calendar sheet from the free Plan Your Year Planner Pack to schedule our school year. The first thing that I'm going to do before I get started is I am going to write the required number of school days at the top of my paper. Now my cover school requires us to do 160 days of school but your state or umbrella school might have different requirements. Writing it there helps me keep it in mind as I plan. The next thing I'm going to do is circle our start date. We pretty much school year round and I like to start in July when um, the weather's really hot outside in the area of the country where we live. This allows us to take more time off um, in October and March when the weather's much nicer. So I'm going to circle Monday, July 7th as our start date. The next thing I'm going to go do is I'm going to go through the year and cross off any days that we know we will be taking a break. For us this includes most federal holidays um, since dad's off those days and then breaks for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Holy Week. So I'll go through the calendar and I'll mark off Labor Day, Veterans Day, the last week of November for Thanksgiving. I'll come to December and mark off two weeks for Christmas. Going into January and then also President's Day, oh excuse me, Martin Luther King Day and then President's Day. And then in March we also will take off for our spring break, we'll take off Holy Week right before Easter. Once those days are off the calendar, then I can start setting up my terms. We like to school in, in six weeks terms and then take a week off. And so what I'm going to do is schedule those into the calendar. As I schedule them, you'll notice that if the break between one of the terms falls close to a holiday break, we'll kind of adjust the schedule as we go. So let's start here in July and count one, two, three, four, five, six weeks. Six weeks times five school days is 30, and we will take off this week in August. And then starting again, one, two, three, four, five, six weeks. I'm going to go ahead and write 30 because I'll subtract out those little single day holidays at the end. And then we'll take off for our term break the week of October 6. Starting again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And conveniently, we're taking off that last week of November for Thanksgiving anyway. Then in December, we'll count one, two, three, I'm going to write 15 and leave this as a little three week mini term for the month of December. Then when I come to January, I'll start counting with one again. One, two, three, four, five, six weeks. And it ends up we'll take off the entire week of President's Day. Then starting again, this week moves into this one, so one, two, three, four, five, and then I run into this planned holiday during Holy Week. And so what I'm going to do is just make this a five week term and write 25 days there. And then after Easter, we'll start back with one, two, three, four, five, six, Right, 30 days here, and we are planning on May 15th being our last day of school. So now that I have all of the term breaks in there, what I want to do now is go through and count my days and be sure that I have enough. So I'm going to start adding 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 175, 190 school days, and then I'm going to subtract out those single holidays I had. So one, two, three, and that leaves me with 187 school days scheduled. 
and I only needed 160. So we have plenty of days in our calendar um, you know, to meet the requirements of our, of our school and our state. And so what am I gonna do with those extra 27 days? Well, I'm gonna leave them there. I'm not gonna go in and schedule any more holidays or any more time off. And we're gonna save those 27 days and use them for things like nice weather days to spend in the park, especially after we've been rained in or it's been cold for a couple of weeks. Um, emergency cleaning or errand days, mental health days for mom, days that family might unexpectedly be in town, our friends might call us up to go do something fun, or even someone's birthday. We might wanna take the day off, and if we have those extra days, we could certainly use them for that. We may end up schooling a little more than the 160 days our cover school requires, and that's okay too. So, and that's how I plan out my year using the calendar from the Plan Your Year Planning Pack. And if you would like to get a free copy of this calendar and the other forms in the pack, you can come to Everyday Snapshots at edsnapshots.com. Sign up for the mailing list and you'll be able to download your free planning pack right away.